Welcome to the Bite Size Storytelling Show, brought to you by Comiful.com, where we bring you techniques, advice, and stories that will help you on your writing journey. Without further ado, please give a warm welcome to our special guest. Hi, Comiful, and hi, writers. My name is Krista Wojciechowski. I'm the creator of Let'sGetPublished.com and the Writer's Mastermind Group. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about five reasons why your writing is getting rejected that have absolutely nothing to do with your writing talent. Um, as a writer, I know the submissions process is really tedious and time consuming. And then, you know, you're waiting for an answer from these publishers and you're biting your nails and you're going crazy. Um, and when you get that no, it is just such a blow and you go through this period of grief and it's really hard to, to start submitting again and, and get into your work when you just kind of feel so hopeless. But if these rejections have nothing to do with your writing, you're putting yourself through unnecessary stress and you're sabotaging yourself because you feel discouraged and you feel like something's wrong with your talent and it's really just some technical thing that you're overlooking when you're submitting. Number one is pretty obvious. It's read the submission guidelines. Really pay attention to what they're asking for. Um, every magazine agent or publisher is going to have different guidelines. They're going to require different fonts, spacing, margins. Some are going to want you to attach your document to your email. Others will want you to paste the, the text inside the email. And if they have hundreds of submissions coming in and you haven't followed these directions, they're just going to click delete. So make sure you read and you go over and double check your details before you send in your submission. Um, number two is check your word count. Uh, part of the guidelines, they're going to have a word count there for you. And don't try to sneak it in above or below the word count. I know this happened to me a lot when judging the contest. And I was like, why aren't people um, respecting my word count? So uh, what you can do, if your story is too short, you can fill it out a little bit. Add some more detail, description, maybe a new scene. Um, if your story is too long, likewise, you can trim it. Um, thin out the extra description or kill some darlings. That way you can reach the word count. Um, if the story is too short or too long to realistically fit, in, in the limits without ruining the story, then just pass. You know, the, that submission is not for you. Number three, mistakes. Uh, no matter how interesting your story is, typos and grammatical errors are going to turn off any reader, especially a literary professional. It says to them that you don't care enough to send your best work or that you really don't know what you're doing. So um, if you need some brushing up on your grammar and punctuation, I would recommend that you take a class until you're confident in that. And then no matter what, even if you're a very experienced writer, you're going to need an editor or a proofreader to go over it afterwards because no matter how good you are at writing, you're not going to be able to see your own mistakes. Number four, submitting the totally wrong thing. Another strange phenomenon I encountered at Let's Get Published was writers submitting the totally wrong thing. Um, my contest was for short stories in any fiction genre, which is really a wide scope. Yeah, I still was getting submissions of poetry and nonfiction and chapter excerpts, which were clearly not short stories with the beginning, middle, and end. And uh, this kind of annoyed me because I would probably get to the end of the, this chapter and realize it wasn't a short story. And after having wasted my time, disqualify this person. Maybe their writing was great, but a chapter is not a short story. So pay attention to what you're turning in and make sure that it is the, the kind of work that your publisher or magazine uh, publishes. Common sense, right? So next on the list is number five, not familiarizing yourself with the agent or publisher. This is one that I am totally guilty of, and I will confess to you, I have submitted without ever having read anything from the publishing house or magazine that I was submitting to. I would have saved everyone time, especially myself, had I sampled writing from their stable house first. So it's wise to read up on the writers um, of your desired publisher to get to know what kind of material they work with. 
So beyond genre, because that is a really broad scope of, of writing, you have to ask yourself what kind of style do they gravitate towards, what kind of themes do they cover, and what kind of subject matter do they do they accept? Like, what is the publisher known for? And, you know, if you're a perfect fit, then that's great. Your chances are wonderful. If you're kind of iffy, you could still submit. But then, like, you need to think about, do they have any non-negotiables? Like, when it comes to sex, violence, or graphic scenes, and do they stick to certain tropes, or do they subvert them? Um, so read up on the other writers and their stable house so that you can figure out if you're get a good match. And then you can also kind of use that as a lead in like, hey, so-and-so publisher, I, I see that you have published, you know, this author's writing. My story is a lot like that and that, and then kind of use that as a segue to get in there. Um, in closing, it's a shame to think that some talented writers become discouraged when they're getting rejections for, for these reasons that have nothing to do with their writing. Um, remember that agents, publishers, and contest judges are people too. They get a lot of submissions, so they're just going to eliminate, you know, whatever is the easiest to eliminate. Stop wasting time and energy chasing after the calls that don't suit your story don't rush and don't send in sloppy drafts. Take your time, do your homework. You might be submitting less and feel like you're not doing enough, but you'll be submitting more effectively and more efficiently. And this will exponentially increase your chances of getting more acceptances. It's definitely a quality game, not a quantity game here. Treat your writing like the one of a kind work of art that it is. Take your time putting together these submissions so that you will increase your chances of success. Anyway, Comiful, thank you for having me and listening to my tips. If you want to join me and my friends on the journey to becoming a successful author, please stop by letsgetpublished.com where we're going to have monthly masterclasses, live Zoom calls, critique swaps, and more. You can go and sign up at writersmastermindgroup.com. Bye, Comiful. Thank you and happy writing. If you found this interesting, be sure to like, subscribe, and give a special thanks to our volunteer instructor. Reviews and likes really go a long way and help us provide more awesome writing resources to the Comiful community. If you aren't on Comiful yet, you can join a community of poets, short story authors, and fan fiction writers on Comiful.com.